this video is sponsored by me. I want to take just a quick second to tell you about the Hack Smarter Discord community and invite you to join. The Hack Smarter Discord community is a brand new community, and here are some of the things we offer. We have study groups for certifications by TCM Security, Hack the Box, Offsec, and Port Swigger. If you want to be part of an active CTF team, we have a Hack the Box CTF team, as well as a private CTF team that does other competitions. We have weekly goal meetings that we host every single Monday to help you reach your goals. We offer donate what you can one-on-one -on -one coaching where you can meet with an industry expert for a 30-minute session to do a mock interview, resume review, or help you make a road path for your career. And we're also doing giveaways all the time to just give back to the InfoSec community. And finally, if you want to lose at Counter-Strike or Battlefield or Elder Scrolls Online, whatever you want to lose at, I also do some gaming and we'll be hosting some gaming nights. So if you're not part of the Hacksmith or Discord community, would encourage you to join right now. The invite is in the description of this video. I want to introduce you to GitHub Copilot. Now, full disclosure, I just started playing around with GitHub Copilot for a few hours. I'm brand new to the entire thing, but from my little bit of experience, I think this is going to transform the way I approach pen testing, transform the way I approach hacking, especially when it comes to the cloud. If you followed my videos on cloud pen testing, when it comes to the cloud, I'm looking at you, AWS, everything is way more confusing. For example, in Linux, you can do who am I to get your command. In AWS, AWS is always AWS STS get caller identity dash dash profile blah 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 blah. It is confusing and usually I've been using chat GPT and I say yo GPT how do I do this how do I do this but with GitHub Copilot it's built directly into the command line it's built directly into Visual Studio as we code and I want to show off some of these features to be clear this is not sponsored by GitHub or GitHub Copilot hey if y'all want to sponsor me we can talk I'm only making this video because I think this is cool and I've been using it in my streams at least the first stream I use it in just now and found it super helpful let me go ahead and share Share my screen here is github copilot the world's most widely adopted ai developer tool it this is kind of the marketing page that shows you everything you can do but i'm going to show you exactly how i've been using it so if we jump over to visual studio code i have it installed here and there's a few different ways you can use github copilot one way we can do it is we can do comments to tell it hey here is what we want this to do and it will give us a suggestion to fill it in so let's go ahead and do this we'll say create a basic calculator that will add to numbers together. We'll just say that and print the result to the council. Let's give that a shot. And if we define, whoops, define calculator, you can see it's going to fill in the information that we need and it will return it there. A very simple example, but you can imagine this gets a lot more complex depending on what you're working on. The other cool thing I've noticed about this is it's context aware. So if you're working on a much larger program, much larger Python script or JavaScript or Bash script, it's actually aware of the context that's around it. I don't have a good way to demonstrate that for this video, but it's context aware and it's a lot more helpful than just like pasting the code to chat GPT and trying to work out all the issues. The other cool thing that we can do with this is if we pull up our chat here, our GitHub Copilot chat, we can say this, create a Python script that does the following. Takes a list of, we'll just say random usernames, appends at hacksmarter.com to the end of them, outputs it to a file called emails.txt. All right, here's the Python script that accomplishes the task you mentioned. And yeah, it looks good. Can I just copy right here? Let's just replace this. We'll save it and let's see if it works. We'll do Python three test.py ls cat emails.txt and sure enough it did it with user one user two user three and appended that all onto the end another cool thing that you can use for github copilot is github copilot cli and i want to show this off you can see when i was playing around with it i think this will be especially helpful anything with cloud syntax on the command line because i personally always forget it but we have github uh copilot in the cli so I did do an alias for this GitHub Copilot, and we will say explain how to install SQL map was my example, but let's give it an example from AWS. Let's start basic. How to run the standard who am I command 
in AWS CLI. And it provides our information to run it, open a terminal command prompt, run the following command, and even explains it a little bit. Well, let's do GitHub Coplay and explain how to enumerate the roles of my current AWS user with the CLI. And AWS IAM list roles. One more, explain how to assume another role from my IAM user with the AWS CLI. And there we go. It walks us through how to use the STS assume role and actually breaks down each thing that we are doing. So we're not just fully script kiddies, or maybe uh, I'm more of a GPT kitty, whatever you want to call it, or a co-pilot kitty, but gives us a little more information so we understand what we are doing. But those are some of the really cool use cases I've used so far with GitHub Copilot. There's a lot more going on than I've even experimented with. And I do want to let you know, I believe you can get a free trial of the Copilot, but to get a premium license, I think it's uh, pretty affordable, 10 or $15 a month, if my memory serves me correct. I probably should have looked that up before I made the video, but you can look it up on your own. You're hackers, you know how to use Google, but so far, really am enjoying it, and I do think it's going to change the way I approach coding, pen testing, hacking, like I shared before. Hey, hope you found this video helpful. If you follow me in my live streams, you will see me using this every single stream as I experiment more with Copilot, what it's able to do, and just as I do my own learning. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.